To define the display of traffic around the old chip on the chart, tap on the traffic button in the toolbar. The overview dialog to define all relevant traffic settings opens up. If connections to a radar exist, ARPA targets can be set visible at the top of the dialog. If AIS is connected, it can be set visible here too. The number of received targets is displayed below the respective button. For ARPA, the target IDs ERBL and cursor can be switched on. For AIS targets, the visibility of names can be switched on or off. Sleeping targets outside a self-defined range, for example 20 nautical miles, can be hidden. The activation range defines the range around the own ship within which all targets shall be displayed. Dangerous targets, which meet the criteria for CPA and TCPA, are displayed regardless of the activation range. For both ARPA and AIS, the past positions can be shown with a defined length. In case AIS and ARPA are connected, it is advisable to show only one of the signals for one target. As the signals from ARPA and AIS can be slightly different, the target association can only be performed provided certain conditions are met. If so, the signals from the same target will be displayed either as AIS or as ARPA. The associated criteria can be modified in the settings task. If AIS or ARPA targets get lost within a defined range, alerts can be activated in the lower section of the traffic settings. In addition, alerts for CPA or TCPA can be activated. The display of the estimated rendezvous points with other ships within a defined range can also be handled in this traffic settings dialog. ERPA is a modified technique to detect dangerous targets, taking into account future alterations of the course based on the active route. Filter parameters for the targets allow for defining minimum length minimum speed and maximum time.